Hi guys, good morning. This devotional is for Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. And on the Hebrew calendar, it is the 16th of Iyar, or Iyar, 5781. This devotional is called Not Cool. The scripture comes from Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10, and it says, My son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. T-E-M-P-T-A-T-I-O-N, a big word for a big problem. Temptation is when something that is wrong or hurtful seems appealing or fun before you do it. Have you ever thrown rocks at a window because a friend egged you on? Have you ever told your teacher you did your homework when you actually forgot? Those probably don't seem too bad. You'd have fun throwing rocks, and if your teacher never finds out about the homework, you might be home free. Throughout your life, other people will tempt you to join them. Maybe they'll ask you to smoke or do drugs. Maybe someone will tell you to lie to their boss for them. Maybe you'll go along and insult someone who is weak and lonely. The tricky part is that giving into temptation does make you feel good for a short while, or at least it might. But no matter if it feels good for a little while, it will not last. It always involves lying, cheating, stealing, hurting, or hiding the truth in some way. If you feel torn inside, that's a clue that you're facing temptation. Consider whether the kids asking you to join them are looking to do good or to get into trouble. Giving into temptation will always hurt someone else, God, or you in the end. All right, so this devotional is talking a lot here about being tempted by others, right? And not giving into temptation because of what others are doing around us. And I do want to share just a couple other scriptures here because we all know good and well that temptation doesn't just come from those around us. It can just come from our very own thoughts and mind. And it can come from ourself, right? And it can even come from the enemy, from Satan. We can have very dark or embarrassing temptations. And you know what? That's okay. And it's normal. And it's not sinful or wrong to have those temptations or to even struggle with them or fight against them. It's when we act out in temptation that we fall into sin. I want to read these scriptures to you. James 1, 13 and 14. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Okay, so that scripture is telling us that temptation is not coming from God, right? We shouldn't blame him. It's coming from us, from our own broken, sinful nature, or it's coming from from, like I said, Satan, because Satan can put thoughts in our mind and they're not ours. So it could come from our mind and it could be an attack on our mind. Let's read this next scripture I pulled up. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has overcome you except what is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able but with the temptation, he will also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Okay, so this is saying that the temptations that you're facing, and this is talking to everyone, right? God's word is applicable to us. He's saying no matter what the temptation is, there's someone else out there that's having it too. It's not abnormal. Okay, it's not crazy. It's common. Everybody's being tempted. But God will give you a way out and he'll make it to where you can bear this temptation, okay? So turn it over to him, take the thought captive, and don't act in it, okay? Here's our prayer for today. God, help me to see temptation for what it really is. When others try to get me, to do something wrong, I want to know what the right thing to do.
to do is. In Yeshua's name, Jesus' name, amen.